Hey folks, Frostbite Vinny here, and I've got a real special treat for you today. I mean, it's really, really cool. Well, I think it's cool because I'm in central Minnesota. It's stinking cold outside, and I can't do anything but play on my computer. But anyways, what I've got for you today is how to edit tracks and a path in Google Earth Pro or Google Earth possibly, I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's get started on uh, doing that. First thing you want to do is navigate to your your uh, routing or tracking software. I'm using Basecamp, so you Basecamp haters go away. I don't care. I like Basecamp. It works for me. This is a track that I want to manipulate and animate in Google Earth, but I don't want the whole thing. So I'm going to select it. It's already selected, actually. I'm going to export it to a file that I can easily ac access through uh, Google Earth. <clears throat> now, if you aren't familiar with uh, some of these things, please refer to my part one or part two of how to do some of these things. So anyways, let's get going. I'm going to save this track 27 to Google Earth animation. All right, there we go. Let's open up Google Earth. <clears throat> Here we go. Here's Google Earth right there. Let's import the file again. If you aren't familiar with these processes, because I'm going to go fast and hard on this as fast as I can. Import file open. There we go. Now, one thing that I found <clears throat> with this little menu, this little box that comes up, uh, if you select KML tracks and you want to animate a video, it makes it really, really difficult if not impossible. Also, if you uncheck this box, adjust altitudes to ground height, when you want to do the editing process that I'm gonna do now, if you have this box unchecked, your path, when you reach a certain uh, altitude, your path and your, your uh, track points will disappear. So make sure that those two are checked, create KML line strings and adjust altitudes to ground height. Why this manipulates things in a weird way, I don't know. It's frustrating, but it is what it is. Select OK. Okay, now Google Earth is going to navigate down to our track points and our path. Now, this is really busy, as we can see. Yep, busy, busy, busy. And we want to condense that down and make it more user friendly for animation purposes. So, the first thing we're going to do in case Google Earth crashes is we're going to move this GPS device folder to my places. There she is. Next thing to do, these little triangles here, click on them, open up all these submenus. And what we want to focus on first is these points. So first thing you're going to do is uh, select your points. Click on that points tab there. And I'm going to zoom in. To where I want to start my navigation, which should be, let's say, like right here. If you hover over it, I know that's track 027 32. I'm going to click on that, and Google Earth is going to not automatically uh, select that one in the points menu. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to hold shift down, and I'm going to arrow up. Now, you only want just the selected points highlighted and we're going to delete those out you'll see these uh points are going to disappear do i want to do that yes sir i do okay so now we can see those points are gone right but we've got a, a buttload more to get rid of so for this video i'm going to select this one you know let's track 027 is 85 i'm going to click on that Google Earth is going to navigate down to that track point. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to bottom or down arrow. And there's 456 billion of these points, so it'll take a sec. Give it a minute. One, two, three, four, la di da di da. Two, three, four. Oh, there we go. Okay. So those track points are selected and I want to delete them out. So let's delete that, the delete key, yes. And now you can see that 
I have eliminated all of those track points. So we're a little bit more clear, but we still have this path here. Now, if we want to animate this path, make a movie, if we want to just animate it, play it, so let's say, it's going to play the whole thing, but we only want to play a small section. So click on path. What you're going to do is you're going to zoom in to the beginning of your path. And we're going to just simply click on the path, hover over it, click on it, right, uh, left click, and then right click. Open up your properties menu. And now if this box here is somewhere weird, move it over. Now your uh, name is going to be highlighted in blue and the cursor is going to be flashing at you. Now you notice here my mouse turned into crosshairs. So we want to hover over our path. You'll see that turns into a green square. See that? Click on that. Now what you want to do, we're going to zoom out so we can see this process in action. I'm going to click my backspace key. You see that? See how that's moving? I want to zoom in tight so I don't want to delete more than I want than I need. I'm going to keep deleting, backspacing, I'm sorry. Right there, that's all I want. Click OK so those changes are saved. Now we're back to our pan, but we want to get rid of all this stuff, all this nonsense here. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is navigate to the end of your route, the very end of your route, and navigate in pretty tight. Just simply hover over, and a left click, and right click, open properties menu. You, know, you see again, this is flashing blue, cursor's flashing. And you got our crosshairs back. So simply hover over, that green square appears again. Click on it. Now we can zoom out. And we'll see this process in action. We can just simply hold the backspace key down. You can see the erasure uh, action in progress. Just simply holding the backspace key down. I want to move this so I can make sure I don't overshoot. Continue holding the backspace key. We'll zoom in a second and uh, make sure we don't go beyond where we want. Okay, let's zoom in. Zoom in tight. Here we go. Zoom in and tight. I'm just simply tapping my backspace key and you can see it's moving up. Okay, that's where I want to end it. Let's click OK. So now, as you can see, our path and our track points are greatly reduced, condensed, and they're much easier to make an animation out of. So. Just for uh, purposes of making this less cluttered, I'm going to uncheck these points so that the points are no longer visible here. And I just have my path. And now I can play my path. And if you're curious about that, again, refer to my uh, first tutorials about uh, animating a path and whatnot. They're in there. There's information in there. Watch the first two. Don't start here. Anyways, we can we can uh, animate this path now. I'm going to go all the way out in space. All the way out. Let's go all the way out. Here we'll go out. Let's go to Africa. Let's make this sucker really work for us, huh? Let's go to Africa. And path is selected. This is our play box. Click on that. And zoop, there she goes. Now what I want to do is <clears throat> trying to figure out how to get these uh, I'm gonna pause this. When Google Earth animates, it can get these wild swings back and forth. You can see here when I fast forward it, see it's going through the hill. Not really following the path. It's going to skim this hill. It's going to go right through the freaking hill. I want it to follow the path, so <clears throat> that's why I'm trying to reduce the time, the length of this path. It skipped that hill. This is pretty good here, but I'm trying to figure out a manipulate those wild swings so that'll be hopefully the next tutorial uh, let's go forward fast forward get going giddy up
Little doggy. Exit ground view. Zoom out. Anyways, that is how you edit track points and a path in Google Earth. Now, this can be helpful in a lot of ways if you want to make a, an intro of some sort. Where are we in the world? If you want to make an intro, short intro, but you don't want to <clears throat> manipulate your track points in your uh, routing software program, you can do in Google Earth and see uh, the, the path in 3D. So that's how you do it. There you go. Nice and fancy schmancy. Anyways, um, I'm going to sign out now. I think that's all you need to know with this tutorial. One thing I would ask is that you please like this video so that I can get more views, not out of vanity or pride sake, and also subscribe to my channel. Again, not out of vanity or pride sake. I'm just simply trying to reach 1,000 subscribers so that I can disable ads on my channel. I don't like ads. I'm sure you don't like ads. We all skip through them. That's the way it is, but that's how YouTube makes its money. I'm a small channel. I'm never going to be rich or expect any riches out of this. But anyways, please subscribe to my channel so I can get that 1,000K and stop these ads. All right. Okay. Frostbite out. Bye.